Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at a tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are found around the equator. This biome is known for rainfall, warm temperatures year-round, trees, and a huge diversity of living organisms. A tropical rainforest has trees, trees, and more trees. These trees create a canopy on top of one another. The vegetation is so dense that little light reaches the forest floor. Many of the plants in a tropical rainforest are evergreens, not deciduous. Many of these trees have very large vines. Tropical soils are deep, but they are strongly leached with large amounts of nutrients and minerals removed. This leaching causes the soil to lack many of the fundamental nutrients needed by the above ground vegetation. So how does the huge amount of vegetation exist if the soils are so depleted of nutrients? The answer lies in a very thin topsoil, made up mainly of decaying plants and animal remains. An amazing cycle exists between the huge body of vegetation above ground and this thin topsoil. As you can see from this climograph, rainfall is very high in a tropical rainforest and the temperature varies very little throughout the year. It rains often in the tropical rainforest. The rainforest has millions of different species of organisms. If you like insects, you will love the tropical rainforest. There are many different types of insects such as the assassin bug, a bullet ant, a longhorn beetle, and this leaf mimic katydid. Rainforests are also home to an incredible diverse range of animals and plants. Animals such as this anteater, this boa constrictor, this eagle, lots of monkeys like this howler monkey, lemurs, and very interesting frogs like this dart frog. Competition at ground level for light and food has led to some interesting evolution of plants. Some rainforest plants live on the branches of other plants or trees, or even strangle large trees to fight for survival. An example of this are orchids. Orchids comprise one of the most abundant and varied flowering plant families. Orchids are especially common in moist tropical regions. Although temperate orchids usually grow in the soil, tropical orchids are more often are epiphytes, which are plants that grow on trees or other plants, but are not parasites. Epiphytes take no nutrients from the tree itself, but instead relies on nutrients from the air, falling rain, and the compost that lies on the tree branches. So there we go, a quick look at the tropical rainforest. Rain, warm temperatures, lots of flowers, plants, and animals. Oh yes, some bugs also. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.